All right, let's finish up this last example. So, first order reaction from chemistry. The equation that governs the amount of reactant is that. So, I've taken that out of your For You Chemistry book. So, A0 is the original concentration. I'm just going to put down here. So, that means it's not going to change. So, the concentration, okay, it's a constant. It's a constant. AT is the concentration at any given time. And K is a reaction constant. So it too is a constant. So what am I looking for here? Well, determine the rate of reaction. So I want to know the rate of reaction with respect to time. And so I'm looking for the D, constant, D of A, D concentration of A with respect to time. So I'm going to take that function that's given and we're going to do a little bit of work with it. So you can always do some algebraic manipulation before you begin. And in this case, uh, I'm going to get rid of the derivative of a ln. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the E, the natural log of both sides. <coughs> and a natural log undoes a ln. <coughs> so I'm left with the concentration of A over the concentration, or A naught, with concentration at any given time. And it's equal to E to negative KT. Uh, I don't really want to do the quotient rule here, so I'm going to multiply that concentration of A over. So I have concentration of A naught equals concentration at any time E to the exponent negative KT. So now I'm all set to go. I'm going to take the derivative, and I'm going to note that these are two variables over here. Okay? They need to, or two functions, I should say. So remember that A naught is an actual, it's a constant from up here. So we take the derivative of a constant, turns out that it's zero. Here we have to use our product rule. So we are going to have dA by dt, e to the negative kt, plus the concentration at any point in time, and the derivative of e to the negative kt is itself multiplied by the derivative of the exponent, which gives us negative k. So I want to isolate for the dA by dt. So that means that I'm going to move this term to the other side of the equal sign. So I end up with that k is negative, so it's going to be a positive k concentration of A, E to the exponent negative KT equals D concentration of A, T over by DT, E to the negative KT. Both sides have a KT, or sorry, E to the KT. So those would cancel each other out in the end. And therefore, if you want to know the rate of rate of changing your reaction, it's simply going to be the reaction constant multiplied by the concentration at any given point in time. So there we are. That's your application or your tie-in with chemistry. So um, there's your uh, examples dealing with scientific or connections with the science. There's the associated homework with that. If you have any questions in class, just let me know and we'll clear them up.